Let's get the news now with Josh and Eileen. So, after months of negotiation, Prime Minister Theresa May struck a last-minute deal with the EU. There will be no hard border... Oh, no, I've messed that one up. Oh, bollocks. Start again. Just keep going. No, I know, I know, I did it last time. Fine. Just start from the top of the... Just start from the top of the script. Yep. Now. Okay, three, two, one. So, after months of negotiation, Prime Minister Theresa May struck a last-minute deal with the EU. There will be no hard border for European citizens living in the UK and UK citizens living in Europe. A terror plot to assassinate Theresa May in Downing Street has been foiled. On Tuesday, MI5 revealed that it had stopped nine terror attacks in the UK in the past year, although some attacks still slipped through the net. Now, as a country, do we live in constant fear? Does the panic created from the slightest bang or tweet cause terror without an actual act of terror? Later on, we will have a discussion on overvigilance in Great Britain and how terror has affected us as a community. Right, so now the video pitch is rolled and then we'll... Um, what was the question? Oh, yeah. Be rolled, you can then. keep it, by the way. I don't need to, it's fine. Yeah, I'm just trying to remember what it was. Um, that's such an interesting insight there from all those videos. You can really see a picture that's painted by all of the scares that have happened that haven't actually turned out to be terror related. Um, so Josh, I heard you were actually at the Oxford Circus scare a few weeks ago. Yep. What was it like when you got there? Uh, it was, it, it had calmed down quite a little bit, you know, when I actually got to the Oxford Street area. I mean, I was on Great Poland Street, so, you know, I kind of ran down there to see what was happening. There were still heli two helicopters in the skies, you know, a massive cordon from, you know, from the edge of Great Poland Street around Regent Street and all, you know, all the way around Bond Street as well. Um, at the time, you know, things were under control. The, I'd been told the police had been there in under a minute. Um, quick response, yeah, exactly. Um, but people seemed very, very concerned. And it wasn't established until, you know, half an hour, 45 minutes later, what had actually happened. So an actual fight had happened on, you know, on the Central Line platform and at Oxford Circus Station, which... So it was a whole lot of commotion for not yeah, much that Yeah, so, happened. you know, people heard, you know, a, few, a scuffle going on and uh, it turned into something that it wasn't. Um, there was reports of gunshots being fired. That turned out not to be true. There was no evidence of gunshots, you know, being found. And, um, and Eileen, so is this because of the media? Or is this because of us, because we tweet about things that happen and then it snowballs from there? Well, media does have a humongous effect on us as a society. Um, this doesn't just mean the news we watch on TV, but also social media, the news that we create now with cameras and mobile phone phones and everything. We just, you even get to see the live videos and pictures and it's very, it does affect us as a community. Right, well, thank you very much, Josh and Eileen. Uh, now we're going to go back to Dipali. So, Dipali, what's coming up next?